Hi, John Wanoa here again. We're here at Port Awanui on the likely spot that the ships came in, the whaling ships here, and the village is just up the top there and along the other way where we came from. I'm just trying to get out of the wind so it doesn't spoil the sound. So if you see down there, that's quite deep in there and it's broken all the way further out. So this is the most likely spot we would want to bring our ships in with provisions for the tidal turbine project up on the blocks on the other side. Yeah, in Canada. Uh, you'll see in a minute when I turn the camera around the other way. Uh, so I'm just looking at the landscape along here. We haven't got our drone today because it's too windy and we couldn't get Wi-Fi here to make it work so I'll have to figure out what's the best way to do that the next time I come back here but uh, it's a beautiful day today you can see East Cape Island in the distance and Ranfrey Banks is straight out there now I was just talking to Dick they have some uh, some plans for out there and so do we so it's happened to be a, a subject that talking about here in this area um, to be out there is that big expanse of land out there that no one ever goes to that's my interest is out there and protecting all that area of land under the sea seabed tunnel that we have the kaitiaki from this marae the oro marae um, um, looks after so i'll be working very close with them and Waitangi Marae, uh, King's Bench Court, and the Chief Kingi Taurua, and the other chiefs there. So this is where I wanted to show you people that this is a the likely spot, what our stick was saying, where the big ships came in here with the ceiling, and landed on the beach here. So it's quite a nice approach with all the rocks right out there breaking the tide. You can see it's flat on the way out, and how it's breaking right out way beyond but you'll have to guide through the area with a depth finder to make sure you don't hit the rocks on the way in. I wanted to do that exercise today just to plan this out on our proposals to the Maryland Court and also to the Gisborne District Council. They're sending me the plans for these sites and I'm very good at that side of land titles, the native land titles as well as following the planning procedures to get a permit for what we do on that land block. Um, so you'll see all these happening on my Facebooks, 68 of them. Uh, from now on, until the lease is up here, we'll move on and get into it. We'll be getting things done uh, with the landowners. The so there we are today, on this beautiful Thursday. I met Scooter on here. He's very anxious to get around the corner to see what's around there. Um, so, for us, for him and I, it's just an exercise, long time coming. We haven't made any money out of these land blocks in all these years. So now we have a chance to do something with them, as well as the people who are leasing them as well. Uh, but I want to cut out some of that for us 